Hi guys, welcome to my cloth simulation slow motion tutorial. Recently, I needed to do a slow motion scene that involves cloth simulation. I searched through the entire YouTube and Blender community and sees no coverage on how to render cloth simulation in slow motion properly. Luckily, some of my friends are experienced CGI'er and they showed me this trick and it worked perfectly for me. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make slow motion cloth simulation using a live example. Cut the crap, here's the final result. Very cool, isn't it? I think I'm gonna leave the sex music on. Alright, this video isn't made by Blender alone because there are time to map an effect made by Adobe After Effects. However, do what you want with your slow motion footage, but let's make one first. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be using a Minecraft character model as a live example that uses cloth dynamics to simulate hair and dresses. If you want to know how that works, that would probably be in someone else's tutorial. This model has already been baked, and we're going to turn this cloth dynamic result into a slow motion one. Step 1. Animate your model as you wish to. Bake all the dynamics like you usually would do. Step 2. Copy the parts of your model that has cloth simulations on. Leave it where it was and move it to another layer for better management. And then you want to delete cloth simulations from physics tabs. Step 3. Go to your file, user preferences, add-on. You're gonna find an add-on called import export pc2. Make sure this is checked. Step 4. Select your original cloth model that has the cloth dynamics on. Go to files, export, PC2. Make sure that the Convert Y Up selection is unchecked, unless you want to use it in Autodesk Maya. And then select the frame range that you wish to export. For example, mine starts from frame 25 and ends at 77. Now the sample rate you want to set as 1. However, you can use a smaller value for more accuracy. But I'll let you figure that out. For now, we're just gonna keep it as 1. Don't use other value unless you know what you're doing. When everything is ready, give it a name and export them. And then you'll get a files that look like this. Step 5. Now select the model that you copied out earlier. And then go to modifier, select mash cache. Now in format, select PC2. And in the file path, find your PC2 files that you export earlier. Next, down here, Set your star frame to the frame that you started your export. Like in my example, I started my export from frame 45, so here I put 45. Now down below, there is this thing called frame scale. Now you're encouraged to play with it later, but for our tutorial, we're going to leave it as 1. Just don't touch it for now. Step 6. Go to render tab. Under dimensions, you will see this area. Now set your frame rates to 25 as you will be playing your footage at 25 FPS. Down below, set the old mapping to 25 as an absolute reference to our slow-mo FPS. Now in the new mapping, enter any FPS value you wish to have. For example, if I want to have a 400 FPS slow motion, simply put 400. It basically means that your footage is filmed 400 frames per second. Alright, we're almost done here. Just remember to go back to your original layer, and then you're gonna hide your original cloth model from the rendering. Now one last thing I need to talk about is that with the remapping value, we no longer have direct control over our timeline. Therefore, to view our animations, we need to drag this box to the desired location. And you kind of have to remember where it starts and where it ends, because you will need these frame marks for rendering. Now, you have your slow motion cloth simulation. Enjoy! If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment.